Okay, so today I want to take some time to talk about creating a knob in SolidWorks. And um, so this is a little example here, and I'm looking for something that has a little, something back to stick into um, like a hole in the model so I can attach it, like as an assembly. I'll bring this part into, this assembly, into the assembly and attach it. Has some edges to hold on to, has some softness in here. These little fillets are in there as well. And um, let me uh, remove this for a second here. And then so it creates, has that soft center, it's not too sharp. These holes are not too big. They're kind of equal size to this distance here. And it's kind of that's kind of how the knob is. It has a radius right there as well. Okay. So let me go back to just a fresh power file here and start. So to make the revolve, I'm going to go to the right plane, start a sketch in the right plane here. I'll show you why. And just kind of start creating this, the basic um, layout here of this knob. Okay. So I'm going to sketch it out and go to here and bring it down. Put in the first dimension, which looks like a one in the bottom. Or, you know, let's try just a one, kind of a different size knob. We'll see. So I'm just going to go with some basic sizes here um, just to get going. And then this is going to be maybe like a 0.25, so a half inch total. And I'll show you why in just a minute. I'm going to put a, a sketch fillet here, like a 0.2 sketch fillet. That's going to curve that over right there. Check mark that makes that curve there, okay? The idea is that I'm gonna revolve around this line, make a revolve around that line to create the shape, okay? So I'm check mark next to my sketch, there it is, and I'll click revolve by space. The question is like, where's the axis of revolution? It's gonna revolve around that line there, and that creates the shape like that. Okay, there's my profile, and there's the revolve, it's very fast. And I want to be 360, um, and I'm good. So there it is, there's the first revolve shape, all right? Next is, um, I'm going to create the, the cut-ins. So I'm gonna click on this surface here and start a sketch and make sure I'm looking like straight onto this. And just use a circle command and go to the top edge here, um, the top quadrant point, and bring the cut-in like this a little bit. I'm just kind of using, just a kind of basic size here, maybe like a, um, I don't like a 0.18, it's actually a pretty good size. And then I'm gonna do a pattern of this. So I'll push escape, Click on the circle, just choose that circle, and then um, I'll do a circular pattern like this. And then just make sure it's on equal spacing here, 360 degrees, and then this is just the amount you want. Point one is the actual the center, which is the origin. It shows that already as a center of rotation. That's what that is right there. So make sure you're working off the origin, uh, and then we'll be able to do that. Okay, I'll bring these up and kind of get them just kind of close and just eyeballing it. I want that distance there to kind of be this. Kind of the same down here as this, so I don't want it too close. All right, so there's my sketch. I'll just go ahead and cut these through um, with a through all. Okay, and then check mark that, and so it creates the cut like that. All right, that's good. Next is I want this to be, this is too sharp. Like, if you left it like this, your eye would say that's fake because it's too sharp and you want to cut people's fingers. So um, I'm going to go to fill it up here in the features and choose like a, um, I'm going to choose like a 0 0.025 radius. I just already have checked that out. But when I click on the edge here, um, I can just do one at a time. Or if I choose from this list here, I can choose all of these edges at once, which saves a lot of time. And I can just check mark it and create all of those. And it creates a softness in here, which I want for reality. Okay. And then that basically, that knob there is finished. It's a little sharp. I might change the size of the circle, but basically that's it. And then when I bring in the, um, over here, and like I'll bring in like a gloss or a um, or like a um, um, let's see, like a a textured plastic, and it's kind of more at the bottom here. I'll bring in like maybe this one for example. Notice that when you bring in an appearance, you can either choose the the face you've chosen, or a feature, or the entire part. Okay, so make sure you choose one of these before you let go. So this is the entire part. There's the texture, which is nice. I like that for that plastic. Um, I can also go to the ball here. Last thing is I can I can edit this appearance. And now this piece here allows me to change the texture size for that. Okay, if I want to be a little bit crazy <laughs> or whatever, you can do that and kind of change the texture on that knob. Uh, if it was more like a real, really strongly textured knob to grab onto. Okay, and that's kind of the idea. Hopefully that helps. And um, have a good day. Bye.